We've had a lovely couple of hours, bit of lunch, bit of a lie in the sun. Marianne's just hurt her foot. No, he fell off the boat. So oh, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> oh, good. That's the important thing. So uh, the plan now, I think, is we're going to have a little wander off and uh, head out to see if we can see some dolphins. So the first thing to do is start the engine before we do the anchor winch. Like so, and that makes sure we don't run the battery flat with that powerful anchor winch. Oh, it shouldn't do, but it's best to be on the safe side. Good, we're all go. Good. Yep. Now that's pulling us in towards the anchor now. So what I can do is just give a little nudge ahead, just so that the anchor winch isn't taking all the pressure. It just takes the weight off the chain a little bit. Now it's the anchor winch winch in. So the reason for that lanyard is if the anchor winch was to ever let go, and it has happened, it's very rare, that rope would stop the anchor from actually launching off the front of the boat, which if you're doing 25 knots is of course, can be pretty disastrous. I'd say it's pretty rare for that to happen, but better to be safe than sorry. You all good? All good. So, all of safety gathered in, we're nudging to gear. Quick check of our surroundings on anybody's way and we'll head on out. So our plan now is to head out towards Berry Head. Very occasionally we see dolphins out there. Pretty rare, maybe one time in ten, but it's always worth going to have a look because it's a real treat when we do see them. Dolphin Mecca, if ever we see them, this seems to be the spot. So all we can do now is just keep a good eye open. Might get lucky, but I say it's a one in ten chance, so fingers crossed. just bimbling along the coast at five knots. It's very pleasant in out here in the sunshine, but we are a little light on dolphins, I'm afraid. I don't think they're playing today. Well, I think we'll give up on a dolphin hunt, but it's been a very pleasant little poodle up the coast. I think what we're gonna do now is swing around and head back into the bay.
Oh yes, there he is. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah. We got very lucky, we were heading back, just got to Berry Head and there was Flipper on his own. Tried to film him, I don't know if it came out, if it is, you'll have seen it on the video just about now. But yeah, we saw a dolphin, which is really, really beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, gorgeous sight. So, we are now off of Berry Head, that's just uh, there. Torquay is over there, but there's a cruise ship out there. I don't know whether you can see it, and we're not quite sure how far away it is, it's a big ship. So it might be an awful long way away and just look near and it is, but we're going to head out that way, have a look and see if we can see it and go around it. And then we're going to go back in, back in Torquay. And I think that'll have been a good day out, won't it? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Lovely. Do you want to drive? For sure. Absolutely. There you go then. It's all yours. Thank you. Okay. Put down, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Always. How fast? 2.8. Okay. Let's do it. Spooky, isn't it? Yeah, it is spooky. It's almost like a ghost ship because you know there's nobody on it apart from a few crew. I mean, I wonder if we'll see a single human. It's also the fact that like, we're bobbing around, the waves are moving, and it's utterly immobile. Absolutely. That's vast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's 
Yeah. It's like, it's like a lump of rock, it's just not moving at all. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? I can't, can't get over it. Bye bye cruise ship. That's a lot more than two eight, missus.
lovely. Just to prove we share all the duties on here, I'm going to drop the anchor. Turn that off. Turn that one off. six meters of water here so we're going to put out pretty much all the chain 20 meters because you want times three six times three is 18. there is rope in there as well so we can anchor in deeper water but obviously you can't anchor in the middle of the sea because it's too deep but that should do us nicely let's have a look and see if that's gripping see, put it to the side and if we look at the boat it should start to swing around Thank you, Skipper. You can switch the engine off now. Perfect. That'll do us nicely for a little while. So this is Babacombe. There's a little bit of Babacombe village over there. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a little Mediterranean port here in the UK. And then there's a, lots of woodland and a beach. And that is a vernicular railway. Vernicular? Vernicular. Vernicular. That is yeah. Vernicular. Yeah, I don't get... No, no. Don't get not a funicular. Yeah. <laughs> not saying it's not fun. So that's got uh, two carriages that kind of bounce each other and run up and down the hill as a cliff railway. We've got one more boat anchored in here. Two boats anchored in here. So uh, a lot more have been, but there's a few heading home now because it's getting later into the day. Oh, we're very lucky. We don't have far to go home when we get back. So I don't know whether you can see there's a guy in a dinghy behind this boat here. And uh, sometimes, I have heard of guys, they'll come round of their anchor off the beach like this, and then they're all a load of pizzas, and a little chap with a moped comes down the road, there's a road that comes down there, and then they paddle ashore in a dinghy, grab the pizzas, come back, have pizzas and wine on the boat, anchored in here as the sun goes down. That's sounds, not unpleasant. Sounds awful. <laughs> Marianne, as you can see, is looking very overexcited. I'm really struggling with this. <laughs> And that's the view up the coast that way. It is, as I like to say, not unpleasant. <laughs> so this is how we're pretty much rounding the day up. It is quarter of the five, still plenty of warmth from the sun, and we are sat at anchor, chilling out. And that's our view, and that's our feet. <laughs> like to say, we've had worse days. Smile, smile.